Hello scientific audience. So today I am going to perform a demonstration of image formation by convex lens. And this is a very useful demonstration for the students from grade 8 to grade 12. For this experiment I have taken a lens, convex lens of focal length 20 centimeters. You can take the convex lens of other focal length also. You can see that the convex lens is thick at the center part and as you go towards the edges it becomes thin. A stand or a lens holder, a screen which is a white background, a candle mounted on a plastic cap which behaves as our object. This is our basic setup guys. So I have taken few A4 size paper on which I have arranged the lens, the candle and the screen as follows. I can move the lens towards the candle or away from the candle. Even I can move the candle towards the lens or away from the lens. The light rays coming from the candle will fall on the lens and since the lens is converging it is going to converge the rays on the screen to obtain the image. If the image would be real we will be able to see it on the screen. I prefer measuring tape over scale to measure the distances. The distance from the candle to the lens will be our object distance and the distance from the screen to the lens would be our image distance. Here I have arranged the object or the candle at a distance of 10 cm from the lens. So the object is between F and O because the focus is 20 cm far away from the lens. So we should be getting a virtual image which we will not see on the screen because virtual images cannot be obtained on the screen. So I am going to move the screen towards and away from the lens but I am not getting the image. Now seeing through the lens we are seeing that a candle and the flame is appearing enlarged in the size. You can see the small part of the candle is visible under the lens. Compared to that we are getting the erect and enlarged image or the magnified image. Due to this property, the convex lenses are also referred as simple microscope. You can see that these letters are placed between optical center of the lens and the focus. So these letters are appearing enlarged.
Here the candle is placed at a distance of 20 cm away from the lens. That means the candle or the object is at focus. So we must get an image at infinity. Now I want to make a point that any distance which is very large compared to the focal length can be considered as infinity. So you can see that the image is formed on the wall and the image is highly magnified, inverted and since it is obtained on the wall, wall behaves as the screen. So it's a real image. And the wall is about 2.5 to 3 foot away from the lens and this is a very large distance compared to the focal length which is 20 centimeters. So this distance can be considered as an infinite distance. Now here the candle is placed at a distance of about 30 centimeters away from the lens. So this is the distance between 20 and 40. So this object is between f and 2f. So we must get an image beyond 40 centimeters on the other side of the lens. And it should be real, inverted and enlarged compared to the object. So I have already adjusted the screen and you can see that it's a real in image because it is obtained on the screen. It is inverted as well as it is enlarged compared to the size of the original candle's flame. The distance between the screen and the lens, which is the image distance, is about 74 centimeters. Now here I am going to place the candle or the object at a distance of 40 cm away from the lens. So the object is exactly at 2f because 2f is twice the focal length which is 40 cm away from the lens. And you can see that a real and inverted image of almost the same size as that of the candle's flame is obtained on the screen on the other side of the lens and the screen is also at a distance of 40 centimeters from the lens. So the image distance is also 40 centimeters.
Now here I am going to place the candle at a distance of about 75 cm away from the lens. So the object is at a distance more than twice the focal length which is 40 cm. So object is beyond 2f. Under this situation we should get a real and inverted image behind the lens on the screen and the image should be obtained between 20 cm and 40 cm. So here I have already measured the distance between the lens and the screen and the distance between the lens and the screen was 28 cm. You can see that it's a real in image, inverted image as well as very small compared to the object. Now the last case guys, you can see two buildings, one under construction and the another one almost completed. Now these two buildings are at a distance of about 150 meters away from my home, from where I am performing the experiment and this distance is very large compared to the 20 centimeters that is the focal length. So this distance can be considered as infinity. So the rays coming from the building will pass through the convex lens and will be focused on the screen. So the image distance itself will be the focal length and I am going to adjust the lens till I get the sharpest image. And you can see that this is an inverted image guys. You can see the under construction buildings wood wooden pieces and the window are inverted so this is the sharp sharpest image and the distance from the lens will be our focal length which turns out to be 20 centimeters